I'm here in forest, uh, a private one, don't worry. Uh, so today we are making vultures and uh, one vulture, you can see it right here, is already in the mass. But today what we need to do is make the wings for it. Uh, and another vulture is, be, is to be made, um, which is gonna be from this chunk right there so you can see the chainsaw is ready don't worry the tree is not been cut down uh, during the storm this is what happened with the tree it just had a bad luck uh, wind just turned it out uh, torn it out of the ground and I can show you a little bit more so we had a lot of windy days uh, during last year this all happened last year so we have another torn out of the ground i've been making sculptures i've been making stuff uh, with all of this uh, so i'm gonna show you another one so so another one torn out of the ground so you can see what kind of material I'm using, I'm not abusing nature because you can see it's all, it just disappears in the wind, just deteriorates. And that's what happened with the roots. They just, they just are dripping off and at one point they just broke and wind took care of everything else. So. We're gonna give uh, our trees uh, a second life, if you will. So, this is mainly what I've been doing all uh, winter, taking care of the material, taking care of the surrounding area. As it's still not really pretty, there's still a lot of... As you can suspect, when tree uh, falls down, a lot of a lot of this will happen it takes with it the other smaller new new trees new ash trees this is ash this is all european uh, common ash really flexible really rigid really strong material to work with nice for sculpting uh, not a lot of uh, uh, breaks happen with the material when when you when it dries so we can walk a little bit more a little bit further you can see it's all a mess with the branches and all the beauty beauty of the of the forest has been turned into this you can see it's really messy, right? So you can see these ones also not the best sight, but it's work in progress. We'll be taking care of so the um, surrounding terrain and the forest is a little bit more healthy because this is not a good situation. It's always the case after the storms, right? not the best thing and uh but also i have a chance to make something out of it and give second life
and here's the bird itself so you can see the neck will go the the head he will be cleaning himself so we will give some life to it and uh, there's the the bushy thing that he has around the neck usually the vultures so there are the place and mass for claws a little bit deeper they're gonna go a little bit more deeper inside all of these so you should see in a picture that usually they have these longer uh, chunks of of uh, fur hanging so that's what I'm gonna try to simulate with wood as the as they won't break they're pretty rigid you can see they're not gonna break off so this is bare minimum what they can be so yeah should look really nice it it has it's uh, should be looking really good it has its own movement and uh, not too much to do for it you can see the wings going all over the place they when they clean themselves the wings usually go a little bit up and they have this stance so he's taking care of himself I don't know maybe I can think of some something right here that he's maybe eating some chunk of meat I don't know we'll see but uh yeah that's the first few hours yeah I'll be continuing tomorrow as sun is saying bye bye good night and uh, pretty good I'm, I'm happy with uh, with the way I managed it and let me know your thoughts yeah all the mass is really on a maximum so this is the uh, the huge vulture and uh, the vulture that is in a big size spread wings take about this much material so that's quite a lot to do. This is still so yeah.